I like the espresso. <laughs> Is that Italian? I don't know. Watch this video. We'll figure it out. Okay, the espresso midge is not our creation at all. Um, I even didn't fish it until today, and we caught a bunch of fish on it. So it's a fully mill pattern that we've had in our store for a while. So I decided to whip some up to try them out. It's basically a flashy zebra midge tied on a jig hook. It's a no-brainer. So guess what? We did it, and it works. Okay, this this fly is is no mystery either. It's just basically a zebra midge with a little bit of flash tied into it, but it's it's on a jig hook. This is the Hannock 480. They go down to size 18 and 20. And this one's the 18 for this fly, but you could surely tie it on a 20. Um, I'm just gonna take some dot black thread, and if I push, put my finger behind the bead and wrap between my finger and the bead and just start wrapping a bunch of wraps, you'll see that the, the bead just kind of stops moving once the, the thread seats correctly. Just cut that off um, and this fly is is really simple I'm just gonna take some flashaboo or tinsel of some sort and some wire small size wire if you use extra small sometimes it doesn't show up very well I'm just gonna take both of those and tie them in both at the same time I'm gonna counter wrap or counter spin my thread to kind of flatten it out a little bit and then I'll cover that up and make a smooth body and go forward so pretty basic at this point now what we're going to do with this flash is we're going to wrap the flash forward and if you've ever wrapped flash over thread it tends to slip all around so a little hack to, to fix that is just to take some Z-Mint or super glue of some sort and just tag that body very lightly with it. <clears throat> so now when I wrap this flashaboo or this tinsel, it's going to stay right where I put it. So just a fairly easy rib with the uh, with the tinsel and then I'm just gonna bring the silver wire in between the tinsel wraps right like that all right at this point I'm gonna hit it with some thin resin Got some Solares here that I'm going to tag it with. Just a really thin coat. You should should still be able to see the the rib of the wire on it, and that super glue and the resin won't. They they play well with each other. So, whoa! Look at that. Not sorry. I should do that on all the videos. No UV light. UV light. Hopefully that's not ruining Curtis's fancy cameras. Okay, so that's cured. And then I'm just going to take some fancy Spectra Dub. And I think this one's called Black Rainbow. It's kind of cool. It's got green and purple hues to it. So I'm just going to get a tiny little bit. And I'll dub that on and create a little head. So, see, that's just a tiny touch of dubbing. Don't tell Lance, but I also tied this one in thread Frenchy colors. So olive with brassy olive, or sculpin olive uh, wire and pink dubbing with a gold bead, and it worked really well. Okay, so that's the espresso midge super easy you should fish these uh this winter they, they should work or if you're fishing if you're watching this in the summertime watch fish it in the summer too freak if i care all right that's it